Okay, welcome to Totemo's Graffiti the World. First stop, Singapore at Ultra Super New Gallery. So let's take a look inside. I'll show you what's like. Alright, so thanks for joining. Please sign in if you come. So first, just to explain, Totemo is a company based in Tokyo, but we work with graffiti artists from all over the world. Uh, graffiti and street artists. So you see here featured in this event are eight of our artists coming from the US, Mexico, Germany, Singapore, Australia, South Africa, Japan, a lot of places. So I'll just explain a bit what Totemo is. So our mission is that street art and graffiti is not permanent. There will always be they will always go away, either through weather or we'll get painted over or the government will destroy it. So we, we're looking for ways to preserve it. So if you think about the major artists of today, like Banksy, Baskaya, Keith Haring, all of them started as graffiti artists. And if you imagine owning the original graffiti from Banksy, the value it would be today. So serious collectors are into this, trying to find pieces, really early pieces of artists who are going to become huge. And also other people who just want to support street artists. Um, so that's sort of what we're trying to do, is help support the street arts by providing the artists another early monetary revenue stream. So here, for instance, you see a really cool piece by a hood day. And of course, we take the actual picture of the actual artwork on the actual building, digitize it, animate it a little bit to make it look a little bit cooler as a digital piece. So that's one way that we're helping make street art permanent. All right, so here's another artist we work with. He's a pretty famous street artist from New York City named Chris from Robots Will Kill, um, which is an art collective that Chris created, the Robots Will Kill Collective. Um, Chris is really well known for these cute robots delivering very cool messages like never stop, which is kind of inspiring, even though it's like never stop your feet, but it's still basically don't stop what you're trying to do, right? So Chris has very cool uh, works, uh, also like on buses, for instance, and of course it's preserved digitally forever on the blockchain, and now we bought and traded and own it. We also have some merchandise, and next let me show you the artist, Tona. Come over here. Tona 1 is from Hamburg, Germany. We're, we chose to display this piece of his called Takayama. Now, this artwork actually, there's almost two layers of description to this. So the first one is Tona is very well known for making these stencils of children. Like this one's quite young, but they might be like, you know, like 10 year old boys, like going like this. And the story behind that is he was painting once in Japan. And it's kind of unusual for someone to be spray painting on a wall in Japan, and so a bunch of children sort of gathered to watch him. And Tona asked the parents, could he take pictures of the kids? And they said yes, and he ended up turning these children into a new art project, which are stencils you'll find all over the world. Uh, some as big as two stories high. But for this piece, now this comes like layer two of explanation, is Tona wanted to make a digital artwork, but he wanted to keep to the ethos of Totemo, the idea that all artwork, not even just street artwork, but even fine art is often impermanent. And the only way to make it permanent is to make it digital and on the blockchain. So in this case, he created a piece of fine art and has an entire series of himself throwing rocks and destroying and hitting it with a sledgehammer, setting it on fire, so that the only artwork that remains is the final piece of art, the digital work, which is cool. Bone cases, more merchandise. And because at this stop is Singapore, our main artist we're featuring is Song, a Singaporean artist, who has a long history in beginning in graffiti to really more fine arts. For this event today, or for this event, um, over the course of about, a, I don't know, a half a day, a day and a half maybe, uh, Song painted this humongous mural over here. And he, of course, finished it live in front of the audience uh, at our opening. 
Here's some work by the artist Jody Knoll. Jody is an, uh, an Australian artist, mainly a muralist um, in, um, in Australia. And she also does work on wood panels and canvas. For instance, this is a piece of work that she originally did on a wood panel, this eye. And then working with the animator, uh, she's made the eye come alive, which is kind of cool. Her work is known to be fairly creepy, but, but, but beautiful at the same time. Falco Fantastic. So here's an example of work by Falco. Falco always, he's from South Africa, he always makes his work fit within the environment. So you'll see in this case he painted this vase and left these spray paint, spray paint cans on top of it. And then through animation we turn it live. Or for here's another great example where Falco's artwork works within the environment. So that's kind of interesting because oftentimes uh, street artists go against the environment and sometimes it's very intentionally like for politics or whatever it is. But in the case of Falco, he's really interested in working within the environment, celebrating the environment. It's cool. Uh, here, let me explain the work of Kua. So Kua is an artist from Osaka, Japan. She painted this on a wall. You can see the wall's kind of gritty, so she didn't, she wasn't able to get the strokes perfectly right, so she just painted in these little black lines to make it look like it was a glitching picture. So then, when we animated it, we had decided to really run with her idea of making glitch. So Kua is very uh, cool, very popular, very up and coming. Now another artist from Osaka is Baki Baki. So Baki Baki, also already becoming quite famous, um, his work is basically characterized by this very unique pattern that he's worked on over many years. And he, as I understand it, it's related to some uh, deep mythology within Japan. Um, and I've lived in Japan for 16 years, I don't completely get it, but it does look super cool because it's like this sort of olden style mixed with street style. It's really cool. So those were the artists that we had today. Chris Robato Kill, Tona, Falco Fantastic, Baki Baki, Kua, Jody Knowles, Kote, and Song. But there's many more. If you visit our website, uh, you can gather some. You can look at all of the artists available. And also, as I mentioned, for many of the artists, although not all, we also provide merchandise, whether it be tote bags, uh, t-shirts. Uh, we have some on display here, or like, different hoodies. Right, very cool stuff. Um, ooh, this one's by Song, the local artist. Very cool. Nice, cool stuff. What you can do, of course, is if you're interested in merchandise, is order it online. So by going to this QR code, it's probably the easiest way to, to search through our merchandise, is going through this QR code, in which case you'll be able to see uh, each artist, all of the items that are available for that artist. Uh, some artists also provide canvas prints of their work. Uh, but it's very cool stuff, and you're able to usually explore the over and select the color, the size, and place an order, and then it's uh, printed and we made it, we'll make it into a print directly to your address. So, 